I want you guys to go off on the comment section. I want you guys to flame me. Yes. Because, bro, you guys read the title, alright? You guys saw the thumbnail, okay? Chainsaw Man is mid. Mid, 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 mid. Okay? I was thinking, you know what? Let me give it a couple episodes. Because I was going to make this video, like, within three episodes, right? But I was like, you know what? Let me give it some time. Let me let me at least let it finish. Let me, you know, get to this climax or whatever. But, man. It's mid, bro. It's mid. Now, before... You feel me? I go any crazy, any any further or whatnot. I just want to give a big disclaimer. I did not read the manga. All right, this is just I'm an anime read a watcher. I only watch anime. This is all based on the anime, so I don't know if there's some chapters, which is why I want you guys to go off on the comic section to let me know if I'm missing some chapters or whatever. Like they, if they cut some stuff out, but bro, I just don't see what the hype is about. Now we all know the animation is fire. You feel me? Mappa did their thing as always. Niggas are boxing. We already know that's what we love. That's what we here for, right? And the characters are mad edgy. Like they're not your typical shonen character. You know, like oh, you know, you know, like you know, like nah. They, like I feel like they're a little bit more on the adult side, and like you know, things are a little bit more like raw, like emotions and stuff like that, right? Edgy, very edgy, like very edgy emotions. But like, bro, characters are dying just. Automatically, right? You just, you just don't know like like one moment you're introduced to a character, next moment they're dead. There was this one character in the group, right? Oh uh, man, I forgot his name. He was the guy though. He was the guy, and I don't know. He got assassinated by the gun devil and I believe the katana devil or whatnot, right? Never saw homie again, bro. Like, and I don't know. I feel like that was such a good character. Like, and they end up they end the theme song. <laughs> they in the theme song, so you hear thinking that oh we're gonna get to know these dudes or whatever. Never saw homie again, bro. Man got a clip, and that was it. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like things was moving so fast, like it makes no sense to me. And everything that makes no sense to me is Denji. What is my man's goal? Like what is dude's goal, bro? Throughout the whole show, like what is his goal? Like I get it, homie just wanted a good life, eat good, live good, and that's it. And I could see how that could be a representation of most people on this earth, right? But bro, like that's it. That's, that's what we're gonna go by. That's it. I never seen a show with such a bland objective. You know what I mean? Like, you're not gonna question, like, hmm, is this agency good or bad for me? You're not gonna question, like, you know, what's these these devil's objectives? You know, what's my purpose? Am I being used or not? I mean, I get that he's supposed to be 17 years old, so he's not supposed to know better, but come on, bro. Let's, let's not. Come on, let's give let's give Denji some credit. Like my boy knows what he's doing here. You know what I mean? I just feel like uh, Denji's objective is very lackluster, which brings me to the, like, to the next character that I kind of really really talk on is Makimia. Makima. I probably I probably butchered that name or whatever. Right? Yeah, her. I don't know what it is, man. Everybody in the net is out here simping for her, bro. Like, <laughs> she don't even look that bad, bro. I just don't get it. And I, I don't know, like, why everybody going so hard, everybody going so ham, like, bro, I don't know. Everybody out here simping for Makima, and I just feel like she's just such a lackluster character. Like, she, she, she just have a corporation uniform. I never knew corporation was sexy. I guess any girl with a pink hair is, is considered sexy at this point. The thing about Makima is that I think it's obvious that, like, you know, she's an ally, but then, like, I guess she's supposed to be, like, like some sort of, like, darker... Um, like hidden agenda that she has that I guess is very controversial. Where maybe later on in season two or whatnot, we gotta you know decide if she's evil or not, right? I I, I get that feeling from her or whatnot. As a matter of fact, I get that feeling all around the show when it comes to the whole corporation, right? Like the you know killing devils and whatnot. But at the same time, bro, I just feel like they're not giving enough. I don't know, like. And it, it, her character is just mad weird, cause like, I don't know bro. I just don't know what the community sees in her. So like again, sign off on the comments, please sign off because like bro, this is not a video of like informing or whatever. This is not me giving my, like, this is me genuinely confused, hoping that the Chainsaw community could go and help me out. I'm gonna keep it a buck, cause I, I don't know. Anyways, moving on to the next point.
I want to talk about the Katana dude. I don't even, I forgot his name, the Katana guy. Um, I know that um, Denji killed his grandfather and that made him mad. So he wanted to go get revenge, you know, back on Denji and which lead um, Denji's crew, like, you know, everybody getting murdered. And um, not everybody, but like most people getting murdered. And bro, I, I, bro, I don't know. I feel like this dude came out of nowhere, bro. Like his reasoning makes sense, right? But like, huh, I don't even know if he really liked his grandpa that much. Cause I, I mean, I didn't see him shed a tear. I could have probably missed the scene. I don't know. I just feel like this dude just popped up out of nowhere, and like he's the big bad for the mid for the season one. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just, it just feels like it came out of nowhere, and the fight was tough. But I just, I don't know, you know. Hey man, so like again, just sign up on the comments. Lastly, and this is gonna sound a little like cliche or whatever, but what's the takeaway from this anime? You know what I mean? What is the takeaway from this anime? I'm not saying that every anime needs to have some sort of takeaway. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that. But bro, seriously, what's what's the takeaway from this anime? It seems like all we're just doing is, is just fighting, hunting devils, you know what I mean? Killing devils. We, we don't know what's their perspective. We don't know why they, they come in here. We don't know why. You know what I mean? Like, it just seems like we're just fighting, you know what I mean? Cool ass animation, fighting with a dark theme. You know, I don't know. The, I don't feel like there was like no bigger, like, messaging, you know what I mean? I feel like everything's kind of hollow. I even feel like the people that's walking around the city is hollow. Like you're walking around a city where there's a devil could pop up out of nowhere and kill you and nobody's like over terrified about that. Nobody, like that's a normal citizen, probably want to make a change about that. You know, I mean, I get the people in the corporation want to make a change on it, you know what I mean? Like that's why they do deals with the devils in order to like, you know, try to fight back. But at the same time, like, like, what about the normal people that don't want to, you know, join the corporation, but at the same time, that like, that's tired of this shit. Don't see nothing. Everybody's just, you know, going along with life and just being like, hey, man, it is what it is, you know? And then Deku, I mean, Deku, oh, shit, I said Deku. And then Den Denji, right, goes and, like, I think he was fighting, like, this bat demon, right? Kills that bat demon. Everybody was scared at first. After when Denji... About to say Deku again. <laughs> After when Denji, right, kills that bat demon, bro, everybody, whoa, whoa, our hero, our hero, like, what? I didn't know the, like, oh, so all of a sudden now this guy's a good guy? You know, I, I don't know, like, I just, it just feels like everything's just kind of like, it's whatever, you know what I mean? Like, nothing's really emphasized. And once again, it's like, it's like the world building is not there, like, it's just very narrow. So you know, like let's let's just get to the conclusion, right? Chainsaw Man is is a fire ass anime, right? Like I like the style, I like how it looks, right? The stories, whatever, and I and I respect the um, the fan base, and I respect like people that likes Chainsaw Man for like the gore, maybe the theme of the show, right? Like I, I gotta I I get it. Like some people probably see Chainsaw Man in a different light which I kind of want to be enlightened in, right? Which is why I want you guys to sign up in the comments because I do feel like the anime is fire. I just don't see why it was so overhyped. You know, that's that's my thing. Listen, like again, go off on the comments. I want you guys to put me on because I'm generally confused, all right? Anyways, I just hope you guys like this video. Like, this is, I'm gonna start being more consistent this year. Like, that was one of my New Year's resolutions to be more consistent and I, and I like, I'm a guy that love anime and uh, for the people that's already like been here that's been watching my videos consistently i want to say thank you moving forward with this channel where i want to take it like i want to be able to just shoot and make content that i like to make and hopefully that you guys enjoy with and i want to be more like engaged with you guys so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace